Well, here we are at uh, Eurosonic in Groningen, and uh, it's always our mission to try and find really interesting companies, pioneers doing great stuff at that marrying point between music and tech. And today is no exception because we have someone who's doing something really interesting, uh, Ilka Arians. Ilka? Yes, that's correct, yes. Yeah. Good Hello. to see you. And, yes, thank uh, you. Nice to have you here and with your company called Bukya. Yes. B-O-O-K-Y-A. That's correct. Tell yes. us about Bukya and tell everyone that's watching this, not only in Holland, but all over the world, all about why Ilka does things right. <laughs> yes. Okay, all first right. of all, all right. Bukya. I'm going to keep it, it uh, the things I'm doing right, I'm going to keep it to, uh, to the business side, I'm going to keep it to Bukya. Very good. Uh, Bukya, with Bukya, we are trying to make a change in the, in the way that uh, booking agencies and promoters finding each other. Huh. Right now, we have on the one uh, the one hand we have the the artists, the artists who have the the home base. They have a, they have a booking agent per region, <coughs> they have a genre, etc. There are many variables. And on the other hand, we have the promoters. They also have a home base. They usually book in a certain uh, fixed uh, fixed venue. They book a certain uh, certain genres, and uh, there are so many variables. And it's very hard for them to get matched. Right now, it's still being uh, being done manual. Uh, I've been to uh, to one of the top promoters here in Amsterdam. And I was actually personally shocked that they were still using one big Excel sheet with the previous artists they booked mm -hmm. and with the artists they're monitoring. And every once to three months, they keep the, uh, they're updating the Facebook likes, they're right. updating, updating the bookings, oh. and they're making phone calls about availability. Well, sounds very really old-fashioned way of it's doing pretty, it. It's pretty old-fashioned, and that's, that's where Bukia is stepping in. Uh, we are uh, going to automate all these things. Okay, so... Uh, Bukia was started how long ago? Uh, one year ago we started. And you got early seed funding into Bukia, you have a team Correct. in Amsterdam and you also have a development and tech team in Malaysia. That's true, yeah. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, the, the tech development is, uh, is in Malaysia. Right. And uh, in terms of reaching out to the market, we have a bifocal strategy on learning from, uh, from the market leaders here in the Netherlands right. and applying this uh, immediately and to the, to the bigger and mostly untapped market in, uh, in uh, Southeast Asia. Amazing. A big, big market. Two billion people. Yes. Very, very, very big. Very, very big. So how did you come across the name Bukya? What was... Uh, it's basically, it came within the first week after we, uh, after we, uh, the, one of the founders met. Uh, he has been 25 years in the industry. He talked about all his frustrations and troubles of the past 25 years as an, as an artist, as a producer, as a booking agent, and as a promoter. Uh -huh. He fulfilled all the roles. And basically, since it's, it's booking and we wanted something catchy, catchy it's, uh, it became Bukia. And it became an app, and yeah, I, would, I would like to show it to you. Okay, and, so what uh, you should do is home. see if you could face your uh, phone yeah. to that camera and try and... Uh, we right, might be able to zone, zone in on it, but you can lift it up cool. so that we can see the screen. Cool, cool. So uh, we're going to imagine that we are we are a promoter. Okay. We are a promoter here in, uh, in Groningen. Okay. And we're organizing events. Okay. So when I... Uh, let's see. That's it? That's it. So when I open the app, it uh, immediately tracks my location. It's uh, geo-based. And then I'm able to fill in a date. The date range is... Don't know if you can see it, but the date range automatically from today till next month. Right. Uh, I'm able to select uh, specific genres. Right. So it's loading right now. So let's say I'm interested in booking uh, an electronic, uh, electronic artist. I hit ready to go, I hit search, and it automatically comes up with uh, recommended artists that are available at the, the given time and a given location. Where does that database come from of who's available and given artists, given time? Uh, uh, right now we have uh, 3,000 artist profile in our wow. database. Uh, all the information we have scraped from uh, publicly available uh, sources. So this is international acts, uh, this, Dutch uh, acts. It's international acts, Dutch acts, but uh, focused on the on the Amsterdam base and uh, the Southeast Asia base. Wow! So right now it uh, it shows you the available artists at a specific time and location. Uh, what you can do is you can uh, connect with this artist. So you press the follow button. Uh, what means that we will update you uh, of uh, new bookings of the artist or when he uploads a new track. And this especially will open uh, a, lot of, a lot of doors and a lot of new uh, possibilities. As you can imagine that, uh, let's say uh, you're a booker in, uh, for a deep house club in Cologne. Right. Uh, I'm following, uh, flo following this artist from, uh, from Mexico. Right. And this artist gets booked in, uh, let's say, Groningen. Right. So it, it automatically detects, hey, this artist you're following, he's booked in Groningen. You might be interested in booking him for, obviously, um, a much lesser fee since he is already in Europe. 
and it's, it will open a lot of doors for artists and make life much easier for promoters. So as you develop the automation of this process, have you been able to uh, show this to promoters and to venue owners and what's the yes. reaction been in the early phases? The reaction, uh, the first reaction we had from uh, some of the booking <coughs> agents were like, hey, uh, are you trying to replace me or, or what is this? And uh, But it, it was pretty easy to convince them that it's just going to be uh, like uh, putting some extra length on their arms, like looking uh, be uh, behind the people they already know. Sure. And for the for the bigger promoters and for the for the venues, it's it's just a no-brainer because it saves them so much time. You you can imagine if if right now they are they are doing the things on an, uh, with an Excel sheet and they have to manually uh, make phone calls and email to inquire about availability <coughs> of artists. It's it's basically a no-brainer for them to start using Bookia. Amazing. So, uh, in terms of what you're going to be developing, uh, what's the uh, what's the business model for Bookia? How well, do the, you guys uh, see yourselves making money out of this? Oh yeah, of course we're not. We're I mean we're we, not the Salvation Army. We're not the Salvation Army, uh, but we do uh, keep one thing in mind: we we will never going to be charging individual artists. So we're only going to be charging the people who will be using Bookia on a, for a commercial purpose. Right. So I have to think on the booking agencies who will be managing multiple artists through Bukia, who will be trying to get gigs done through Bukia for the artists they represent. And we're going to be charging a monthly subscription fee to uh, the promoters, as they will be using this uh, in order to, to find new artists and it will save them time. Uh, we think it's uh, And it's so reasonable. this platform is available on Mac and on Windows? Uh, yeah, well, right now it's, uh, we, we are mobile first. Right, we mobile believe first. that uh, in 2016 you have to start of course. with the mobile first right. and uh, as an addition we are building a web-based version. Right. Since uh, for booking agencies who will be uh, managing multiple artists, it can be quite uh, tedious and it, it gets flooded uh, quite fast on a, on a mobile app. So we, uh, we built an addition together with them, uh, it's a web-based version where they have a bigger overview of, uh, of the artists they manage and it's easier for them to, uh, to stay updated on all of them. And uh, in terms of the mobile uh, platform, you're developing it on iOS and on Android? Yes, right now we have, we have built uh, iOS first right. and Android second. <clears throat> and in terms of the agents and the promoters that you've worked with in Holland, uh, what's the early reaction like to this? Do they feel that it improves their booking uh, targeting? Well, I mean, they, have, uh, they, they, they really love the concept, so they love the concept of pressing one button and finding out who is available. Amazing. There's just one thing that uh, that they told us. Uh, they, they don't want to have it as an, uh, an, an additional burden of, of something else. Cool. So they want to keep on using the, the booking tools they're already using, which means like with the contracts and the riders. So uh, the only thing that we uh, that they asked us to do is to be able to, uh, to connect, to, uh, to make it for them easy to connect with those uh, databases and the software they're already using. Huh. So this really uh, has been built to provide a whole new kind of um, efficiency of booking to yes. the promoters. I mean, we, we, we all know that uh, we, we've got to a time where there's, uh, the, the market for, uh, for events and festivals is kind of saturated. Very saturated. There's not really room for, for more events, for, for more performances. So the, the bigger promoters, they're really looking uh, in terms to be become more profitable, to become more efficient and to save time. And targeting, and, and a better targeting. Yes. So true. if you know, for example, that let's say you want to try and get Calvin Harris and you hear that he's coming to Europe, yes. that might be able to, and you're doing a big festival, that Definitely. might just give you artist intelligence to know true. who's who in the zoo. Yeah, true. And as a, as a nice extra, we have, uh, we have a tin, uh, I, I assume you know Tinder as well. Very well. But I'm uh, pretty sure everybody knows this. And uh, we've added this as a, as a test feature uh, uh, on idea. our first release. So whenever uh, you are a promoter and you have an hour to kill, uh, to kill in a plane or whatever, you're able to swipe through some artists uh, that are being represented to you because you are in a specific region, because everything is location-based, right. uh, which helps us on the one side to, to improve our recommendation engine, since we learn from every swipe left and every swipe right, we learn uh, which artists to recommend. And it's a, it's a nice addition to, uh, to gamify uh, this industry also a little bit. Such a unique and interesting approach. Ilka, if people want to make contact with you and with Bookia, how do they get to you? To me? Well, uh, they, first of all, they have to download the app on the, on the, on the app store. Now download uh, the app, which is bookia.com. Bookia, correct. They can find us on the website bookia.com as well. And they can email us at uh, hello at bookia.com. Hello at bookya, B-O-O-K-Y-A.com. Or just uh, come to any of the big festivals or music conferences. 
We will definitely be there. So you want to tell everyone that's watching this, look ya, go to book, book ya. ya. That's right. Very yeah. good. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Dankjewel. Yeah, thank Fantastic. you very much, Ralph. Thank you thank very you. much.